What's up? Um, hope everyone is doing okay. Um, I'm outside of Old Navy. My wife is in there and picking out some stuff. I don't know what she's buying. She just called me and messed it up though. But anyway, <laughs> I literally just talked. I was going good. It was going good too. And she messed it up. I was, felt like I was in a row, roll. And maybe that's a good thing that sometimes you're in the middle of doing something that you seems really important and it is really important but someone messes it up uh hope so hopefully she's probably gonna end up watching this but that's good though that's that gives me i know something to work with too because sometimes we're 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 doing one thing and we get distracted for that moment and um, I keep getting distracted because she keeps texting me, even though after I said I um, am making a video, uh, she's funny. She always wants my opinion of, on something. She's talking, she's asking me what color, um, my, I'm sorry, Landon's back there. Uh, she's asking me what color or what thing she should buy. And um, I'm not really sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to do this video, honey. Um, I feel like this is really important, but sometimes we're in the middle of doing something and someone catches us, catches us off guard and um, we, well, I'm talking about me, um, I get distracted for a minute and I feel like that happens a lot in life where we're sitting there and doing one thing and someone says, hey, 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 trying to distract us. It could be, I don't know, just that, hey, today I'm gonna work out. Um, but that little inner voice kind of starts battling, no, let's watch some TV. YouTube sounds pretty good right now, right? Um, distracting. There's so much distraction. <coughs> when we think that we can take time and we get distracted. I remember when I first became a father, I got a couple little boys back here sleeping and coughing and stuff. And when I first became a father, I didn't realize how much of time that kids demanded. They demanded everything. They need everything from me. Um, all my time and so much energy, you know, getting up at night and giving them their food and um, changing their diapers and, and kids. Having kids completely changed my life. I was thought you know even when my wife got pregnant or i i was going one way and it was like she got pregnant and um it's not like it was a distraction from but it was at the same time it it completely changed course like this video for instance she called me and it totally changed course by my original plan and that happens a lot but it's adaption it's changing yourself to fit that situation you're in to adapt whatever life throws at you and that's what life is all about is adapting and changing and finding new ways to fight battles and i'm in a storm right now actually there's a snow storm coming near us um i don't think it's going to hit us very but it's super cold outside we gotta adapt we gotta wear a beanie we gotta wear a sweater to make sure we're, we're warm and we're prepared for the storm that lies ahead. And I try to live like that every single day. Um, I, I try to stay stay on a path, but when it gets, when, when something distracts me for a moment, it could be myself, it could be anything. It could be a big truck that pulls up right in front of me as I'm making this video and random strangers watch me talk to myself. Well. I'm not really talking to myself, but you get my get what I'm saying here and just learn to adapt and learn to, you know, when I first started working out, I remember just having to do that because you have to make it a routine. But I realized I made it a routine of working out every single day and I started losing weight and I remember how pissed off I got every time I couldn't work out. And I still sometimes get pissed off when I can't work out. I don't work out very often as much as I uh, used to. 
pounds. I, I used to weigh 270 pounds. Now I'm weighing 195. I lost a, a lot of weight, but I remember how pissed off I used to be when I couldn't do, I used to work out like twice, twice a day, like six days a week. And cause I was determined to lose weight. But then my kids in work, work, my kids, my wife demanded more of my attention. So I had to readjust and refocus my goals. Did I want to focus just on my body to become a bodybuilder or whatever, just to be the best I could be that way? Or did I want to be the best I can be in all ways, physically, mentally, and spiritually strong? I didn't want to just physically look amazing. I wanted to be fit, spiritually strong too. I'm religious and I believe in God and I believe that there's purpose for each and every one of us and I will never change that. That's who I am. That demands a certain aspect of myself to change a certain quality about myself. So it changed me again. It was like, you know, you could do this, but it's going to change you. So, so my kids, my wife, you know, so physically I was trying to do one thing and spiritually and I'm adapting and changing myself completely. And I learn new techniques to help myself get out of depression. My dad passed away when I was 19. Uh, that was like seven years ago. I'm 26 now. So whatever, do the math. But anyway, um, you have to learn to adapt in sadness. I remember finding my dad and he was laying there and man, I can't tell you how bad that hurt. I was like numb. That was a horrible storm. It, it's hard to describe or and I'm sure I know other people have lost, have lost in their life, but that took a very big adaption because I had to I could, I could dive down to every little detail of being 19, having to orchestrate my dad's uh, funeral because I was the only one with a head on their shoulders, sort of. Even back then, I thought, I, man, I've changed so much. Um, but that's adapting. That's changing. And sorry, I'm moving my hand so much, but just trying to say that, man, there's so many storms in your life and being prepared for that though realizing that there are storms but there's a way out of that storm to endure the storm like let's say 10 feet of snow just dropped i was not prepared for that but i can go inside the store and buy some more clothes to get warmer or i can get and find more shelter and there's always another shelter for your storm you just have to figure out which shelter to fit your situation to better yourself um the there's so many key elements on what can help you better yourself um like i said you can't just focus on one physically mentally spiritually it has it has to be a little of both all three of them there's more those are my top three though I guess because without physically I'm mentally weak and without mentally I'm spiritually weak it just they work so good together and so I pray a lot to be physically and mentally spiritually strong in Jesus name because I can't explain how much he's helped me through my storms and I understand that there's a lot of you that don't believe in it uh, in a God, in the God, and whatever you guys want to put your hope in, I choose to put my hope in uh, Christ and Christ alone. And um, I can't describe how much, like I said, He's changed me. Uh, I, I challenge you guys to all find um, uh, that thing that will help you and 